For nearly two centuries, this stately home has stood as a landmark in Newfane. Its builder and first resident was a pioneer and entrepreneur. James Van Horn made a fortune from his orchard factory, sawmill, and other businesses. His mansion is a living legacy, but also a home to the departed. I've seen white shadows um, walking the premises and in the house, uh, black shadows um, walking through the house. It just happens. It doesn't take dark, it doesn't take light, it doesn't take a certain time of day. Things just happen. From sounds of a family, kids playing, even parties, to the far more frightening like the appearances of Melinda Van Horn, who was only 21 when she expired. I actually have seen her twice in the attic, and both times it was in the exact same corner. Um, she looked exactly the same. Um, the strange thing is, I could tell you what color she had on in her dress. It was beautiful. Um, the way her hair was, what color her hair was, and the expression on her face, but I couldn't see any hands or feet. Perhaps peculiar for a phantasm, but oddities exist outside this haunt's home as well. In the Van Horn family burial plot, Melinda was the only one unaccounted for until some mortal sleuths found her remains alone in the backyard, her final resting place now here in the Rose Garden on the mansion's south side. A stone marker encased in steel and weighted with a 500 pound anchor cover the spot. Here too, the unexplained is not unnoticed. Periodically, um, when we go out there, um, the, grand, the, the stone has been shifted um, to the north, and it always goes to the north when it shifts, and the men have to go out there and kind of mallet it back into place, um, but then it shifts again. Many passers-by notice the strange happenings, specters walking the property appearing in windows. This blue curtain above the carriage house placed with care to protect the living. The incessant appearance of an apparition here deemed too distracting to travelers on the road. And the man responsible for this edifice of afterlife, the family patriarch, James Van Horn Sr., is also set to make his presence known as well. Every once in a while, he just likes to pop up behind groups of women and, and kind of growl at them. A not so subtle reminder about whose home this is in the mortal world and hereafter for eternity. <laughs>